The greatest power that you have is the power of your choice. Therefore, in order to create the reality that you want for yourself, you need to really powerfully own that you have a choice. A lot of people are disconnected from this fact and in fact feel that they have no choice, that everything is deterministic, that life is happening to them. Yet your choice is exactly what will direct you towards what you wish to experience. And if you don't utilize your choice, things will just happen based on whatever vibration you hold unconsciously. So, in order to develop the ability to choose, we need to learn to discern. Discernment is the ability to differentiate what is in alignment for you and what isn't. What is for the highest good and what isn't. What is healthy and what isn't. What you want and what you don't want. A lot of people are not connected to their ability to discern. They have not developed this ability. And when it is disowned, it turns into a lower form, into a lower expression, which is judgment. So in fact, your judgments can be utilized as tools of awakening and developing your power of choice. I will explain this to you. You can transmute judgment into discernment. For example, if I judge somebody for speaking a lot without noticing that everybody around them is bored, you know, just talking and talking and talking and talking. I've been in these situations many times and it used to trigger me. So I judge that. So the first thing I need to realize is that it's actually not about them. It's about me. My judgment is not about them. I'm only having that negative feeling towards what they are doing because I judge that in myself. So first step is ownership, is to see where I judge myself for not being aware of other people. So this could be that I don't allow myself even to be unaware of other people. Or it could be that I'm doing that and then I judge myself for being inconsiderate, unconscious of other people in my space. And from here, the second step is to not judge that actually. It is to not, it is to not be harsh towards yourself. It's okay. You don't need to push it away. It is simply then to acknowledge and to say, ah, okay, there's a part in me who maybe doesn't want to be aware of people and See if you can feel that part in yourself. And, you know, I'm going to actually post another video that is a guided process that helps you to do this. It's like a meditation slash process that helps you to, to do this transmutation. But really, just feel that part in you who doesn't maybe want to be aware or isn't aware of people around them. And just give love to it. Just, it's okay. And you can say this out loud as, out loud as well. It's okay to not be aware of other people. And the third step is choice, actually. What do I choose instead? It might be, for example, I choose to be aware of the people in my space. Or when I talk to people, I choose to be attuned to them. This is who I want to be. And when you see this part in yourself, realize that it's a child. Most of the time, kind of negative patterns that we have represent a child self that simply needs to be witnessed and just accepted. Like, okay, you're there. I'm not going to judge you. I'm not going to push you away. And I'm still going to go and choose what I actually want to embody. And when I do that, I also get to set a boundary and say, I choose to not be a victim of these situations where people talk, talk and talk and talk and don't leave space for me. Instead, I choose to reflect to them what is happening in me. And this is where it is probably scary to do that in this situation I'm describing, but this is where I have the choice. So can you see how I've just transmuted a judgment of, ah, oh, I hate how that person just talks and talks and doesn't leave any space for anyone else to I choose to be 
attuned to the people in my space when I talk and to reflect to others accurately what is happening in me. And when I do that, when I take that ownership of my choice, all that negative feeling towards the other person drops because it was never about them. It, they will not impact me negatively anymore. Okay, so to make this process even more clear, I'm going to share a few more examples. I used to judge people who just take pills for any ailment they have, any issue, without looking at the root cause. So what is it exactly about this behavior that I judge in myself? I judge myself when I cope, when I'm not willing to be present with myself, when I'm coping by eating, by distracting myself, I judge that. So that's what I'm actually judging in them. So now I would just witness that part in myself to feel it for a moment. And again, I'm going to have a process video with this that you can see in the description below. Just seeing the part of you that copes. Who is it? What does she look like? It's an inner child who doesn't feel capable of feeling perhaps. And afterwards, I'm going to state what it is that I want for myself instead. So I, I might say... I choose to cultivate presence with my body and my emotions. And I choose to notice when I'm coping and to pull my presence back to myself to see what is happening in me. See, I've just empowered myself by acknowledging that I have a choice to choose what I want for me. The other person isn't imposing anything on me. But when I'm not having that choice, it's as if they were imposing something. It's triggering me because I don't want that thing. You don't have to have that thing. And you can set a boundary again. It is The choice is in what you want to for yourself, what you want to embody, as well as what you don't want to accept from the outside. So here the boundary might be, I choose to... Be sovereign in my decisions for my own health. I don't allow anyone to convince me to take pills, for example, that I will always listen to myself. Another example, I used to judge women who use their attractive attractiveness to seduce men and to manipulate, to get attention. So here, if I would look at that in myself... I would judge myself if I did that. And in fact, when I was younger, I used to do that. And at the core, I judge myself for wanting attention from men. So here, again, I will simply witness the part of me who wants attention from men. And see it. Just see it. It's innocent. It's okay to want attention from men. And here... What I might then choose is to say, I choose not to objectify myself to get attention. I choose not to manipulate or use others, men in particular, to get what I want, to feel good. And I choose to give attention to myself. When I feel that sense of... Because it, it comes from, you know, some kind of unworthiness, actually, that desire to you know, seduce and to be attractive, to get attention. It's coming from as if there was nothing else that could draw people in. As if there was nothing else in us besides our sexuality, as women especially, that could get us presence. So the first thing to do is I'm going to give myself presence and attention no matter what. Even if no one else does. This is my choice. This is the power of my choice. And once again... When I do this, I can stop judging those other women and feel compassion for them. Realizing that that's coming from pain and low self-worth, that behavior. And here's another interesting point, by the way. Sometimes our judgments are kind of accurate in the sense that, in the sense that we are perceiving accurately what is happening. And sometimes they are projections and not accurate. So for example, perhaps I'm judging a woman for acting sexy to get attention but the reality might actually be that they are just embodying 
their sexual energy and their beauty and they are their magnetism right but i'm not able to see that because i'm judging so when i begin to when i set that boundary with myself with how i'm going to be and what i'm going to accept i in fact liberate the positive energy behind the thing that i judged and everything that we judge has the potential to be transmuted into something positive so here once i set that boundary with myself that i am not going to you know use my body to manipulate others or to get attention i can trust myself with my own magnetism i can trust myself to shine in my total beauty and radiance and not misuse that energy and i might get attention but that's not the goal it's just me being who i am and let's take the other examples for example when i'm judging the person taking pills to cope with issues even in that there is something that can be transmitted into positive thing in that for example the ability to move on and to find solutions when it's not the right moment to collapse for example if you're under a highly stressful situation maybe you really need to just act fast and uh, be able to come up with some kind of solution so that you can then later deal with the stress the underlying issue as long as it doesn't become a long term thing this can actually be a positive positive thing underneath coping is the ability to survive actually so let's take the first example where i was judging the person who is taking up a lot of space and talking and unaware of other people around them or how they are responding or not responding so when i set that boundary of i am not going to be unattuned i can trust myself with the energy of agency confidence and taking up space because in fact a part of me is afraid of that energy the energy of taking up space because it thinks that i'm going to misuse that that i'm going to become the person who is unattuned but once i have that internal agreement and choice i can become fully once again this this person of confidence and speak up and take up space by sharing my knowledge and speaking while being attuned to the other person can you see how how you know there is a positive in everything and this way we untangle kind of like the we use we use the judgment that we have we become aware of the judgment and we transmute that into personal discernment about what we want to be and embody and what we don't want in our reality and once we have that we can allow the full expression of the energy that we judged in the first place super powerful guys i hope that this video has helped you and um Yeah, please please subscribe to our channel New Earthlings and as well to my personal channel Journey with Mia where I share things like meditations and processes. It has been a little bit inactive lately, but soon I will publish the process for this video. Bye.